Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am continuing Latvian Literature Week with an original tag. So this is the Latvian Literature Book Tag. I'm not going to tag anyone at the end because I am, in a way, doing this to help promote Latvian literature, and I don't want to, you know, anyone else to feel obliged to do the same. But if you do want to take this tag, all the info is below, so you can take it. And it's basically a way to talk about books whilst also teaching you about Latvian literature. Let me get the questions, because I, I don't have those on the screen. So I have a stack of books and a set of questions, and we're going to do this. Question one, hashtag I am introvert. Name a book with an introverted protagonist. So I am introvert is a Latvian literature campaign promoting the introverted personality of Latvians and Latvian authors. So for this question, I've gone for The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I actually recently read and reviewed this on my channel. I read this on the plane on the way home from Latvia, actually, and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it, but the main character in it, Charlie, I had to check there because I couldn't quite remember. That's how introverted he is. But to be fair, he also hangs out with a bunch of extroverts, so he is very much introverted. But at the same time, because the book is a series of letters, you, you see inside his introverted personality, which is quite the achievement as a writer, I believe. Question number two, Livonian. Name a translated book that you can't read in its original language. So Livonian is a dormant language with no more native speakers and only 40 or so people who speak it fluently as a second language. I'd actually re met one of the guys who translates books from Livonian. So I'm going for Battle Royale by Kushin Takami. This is written in Japanese. I cannot speak a single word of Japanese, but it was a very good book and I highly recommend this. If you've ever considered reading it, then you should jump on in. If you don't know what it's about, basically a group of school kids on an island and they have to kill each other. It's like the Hunger Games, except this was written first. Question number three, Orbiter Group. Name an innovative and or mixed media book. So the Orbiter Group is an innovative Russian speaking Latvian group of poets that are notable for their art based poetry installations and their bilingual publications. So I've selected Tom Phillips, A Humuman, and this is a treated Victorian novel. And um, really, I have to show you for you to see what it is. So this guy took uh, a novel, which I, I think it was called A Human Document, and basically he painted over it. And it becomes this work of sort of surrealistic art slash poetry. So for example, this is what that page looks like, and it says, Yes, one man changed to a happy rainbow, filled till now the wood with gloom and bitterness, the calm art of the electric drawing, a private photograph of the arranged objects. What's this page? Question number four, the people's bookshelf. Name a book that's important to you that you'd gift to the National Library. So the People's Bookshelf is part of the National Library of Latvia, where anyone in the world can submit a book that means something to them, and then that gets included in the library's archives. So I am actually going to be sending them a copy of my book, Driven, because, you know. But I've also selected a self promo answer later on. So instead, I'm going to go for my other choice that I was thinking about sending, which is Philip Pullman's Northern Lights. And if you've watched my channel at all, then you probably know that this is one of my favourite books of all time. So, yeah, just seems like an appropriate one for me to send. Question number five, Doom 94. Name a book that's about music. So Doom 94 is a book by Janis Jonevs, and it's about the author's youth when he'd get drunk and go to Doom metal concerts. It's due for publication in English by Wrecking Ball Press in spring 2018, and I have pre-ordered a copy. I'm excited. So I've gone for Jarvis Cocker, Mother, Brother, Lover, Selected Lyrics, and Jarvis Cocker is the frontman of Pulp, which is a Britpop band. You should, you should probably Google Pulp if you haven't heard of them, but I imagine most people watching my channel probably have heard of Pulp. And uh, yeah, this is literally pulp lyrics, but in like a poetry collection. It's very odd. It's printed by Faber and Faber as well, so you know it's legit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a massive pulp fan, but I just bought this because I just sort of had to have it. Question number six. 30 questions people don't ask. Name a book with a title that's phrased as a question. So 30 Questions People Don't Ask is a poetry collection by Inga Gale, which is published by Pleiades Press in America and which has the poetry in both English and in Latvian. I bought a copy of it and will be reviewing it during Latvian Literature Week. So I've gone for Who Killed Kurt Cobain by Ian Halperin and Max Wallace. And this book is literally, you know, an investigation into whether Kurt Cobain was murdered by Courtney Love or not. 
I personally, even after reading this and frequenting WhoKilledKurtCobain.com when I was about 15, I still think he probably killed himself. So, you know, maybe somebody cleaned up after him. That's that's my guess. Question number seven. Bicky Buck Books. Name a small slash short book that's part of a series. So, Bicky Buck Books are a series of short sort of chapbook style poetry collections that feature illustrated poetry for children. There are over a hundred of them in the series and people tend to collect them, both children and adults. Even expats will occasionally order them in from overseas. So I have gone for my trusty copy of Attack of the Mutant by Goosebumps. Because basically, I thought this had to be a Goosebumps book and this is my favourite of the Goosebumps books. It's all you need really. This used to give me nightmares. Question number eight, The Horse. Name a book with illustrations. So The Horse is a project which brings Latvian authors and illustrators together and it used a lottery to decide which ones would be paired with which other ones and the goal was to foster innovation and collaboration whilst also making, you know, a showcase book that they can give to people who might be interested. So for this, I have gone for Eyes Like Lighthouses When The Boats Come Home by Dane Cobain, which is my poetry collection. And the illustrations in this were done by a friend of mine called Steve. Was it Steve? It was Steve, wasn't it? Steve Woodcock, yeah. So the illustrations in this were done by a friend of mine called Steve Woodcock. And uh, yeah, he did like little woodcut style ones to head, head of each of the poetry sections. Moving on from the self promo. Question number nine, The Singing Revolution. Name a book that has the power to overthrow tyranny. So The Singing Revolution is the name used for the 1987 to 1991 campaign, all across the Baltics really, campaigning for their independence. And it eventually led to Latvia overturning the Soviet occupation and re-establishing their independence as a country. So for this I have gone for Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale. I read this recently, I went on holiday basically just after coming back from Latvia and read it while I was there. Absolutely loved it, 5 out of 5 stars. Possibly the greatest dystopian novel ever written in my opinion and that's coming from a George Orwell fan as well and I just think if we don't read books like this and you know see 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 where we could be as a world and as a society we have no chance of overthrowing anything. Question number 10 Mr. Page name a book that you bought after someone recommended it. So Mr. Page is a bookshop it's described as a love letter to books and a gift to the city. But it's not just any old bookshop, they actually carefully select all of their stock and sometimes they buy books with specific people in mind and then those books will go in and buy that particular book as well. It's not one of these bookshops with hundreds of books, they had maybe 500, 1000, something like that. But it's, you know, the perfect little friendly family vibe bookshop. Also while you're there, the staff and customers all have to wear white gloves so that the oils from their finger don't damage the books. So for this I've gone for S.E. Hinton, The Outsiders. And basically I picked this up after Catalyst Reads told me he couldn't imagine it getting anything under than anything lower than four stars from me, I think. And it got a 4.5 in the end. And uh, and I picked it up because he recommended it to me and I loved it. So thank you, Michael, for making me get this. So yeah, that's it for the Latvian literature tag. Like I said, I would normally tag people here, but I don't want people to feel as though they have to help me spread the word about Latvian literature. But if you do want to take it, please go ahead and take it. And... Um, you know, even if you want to let me know in the comments below that you want to take it, I will I will give you a, a yes, a yes from me. So anyway, pal Dias for watching. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe, especially if you'd like to see more Latvian Literature Week videos for the rest of this week. And hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.